up on today's Round 16 wrap of the AFL Today Show. I'll tell you what, Patrick Cripps just won the brown low. Also, hey, Alex, what happened to your swans? Uh, apparently oh. on the smaller ground, they couldn't play well. <laughs> Watch out. Hey, Stats Boy, what did you like the most this week? Oh, Josh Dunkley, just an underrated player. And Essendon, uh, are they choking again? Hopefully. Maybe. Uh, we are bringing down all nine games. We've got the ladder wrap. We've got the best team. We've got the best player. We've got the super coach wash. It's all going on in absolute chockers. AFL today, you better get around it right now. All mate, no mates. Who's got no mates this week? Braden Maynard, war criminal. Uh, <laughs> also, flog of the week, the runaway winner. Oh, sir, he touched me. I've been shot. Somebody call the police. Yeah. Ah, I've been murderated. What about when he grabbed his head? He got touched in the chest. He's like, grab oh! He's got like touched there. You can't do this in the day and age where every single thing you do on, on a football, football field is very clearly going to be on camera exactly, yep. and going to be gone over by every lunatic on Twitter going, ah, <laughs> blow it out your nose, Braden Maynard, you war criminal. And away we go, right? I every guy it. on Twitter, Jim. Hey, also me. <laughs> it's me. Also sitting at the group chat going, ah, look at this. I, But also, for the guy the guy who acts tough, yeah, act to tough. guys that are the same He's, height oh. as stats guy, you can't, you can't, hey, be, can him, you can't be the tough guy. And be like, oh, I'm really tough. Look at me. I'm and then tough. Go, oh. go, he touched me, sir. Sir, he touched me. Oh. <laughs> I'm dying. Like, come on, man. What are we doing here? We can't point. do it. Braden Maynard, like Lee Matthews short to just punch him in the back of the head next time he sees him. So is that Braden Maynard? <laughs> <laughs> he he just just like, we go. He's done a 360. That was, that was pretty good. cool. Yeah. Uh, stats boy. <laughs> that was a good calm finish. I'm going Brad Scott, old mate, no mates. Uh, still the lesser coach in the family, the lesser brother. He's going to go back to his family uh, dinner. He's got the two brothers. His brother Chris is going, ha ha, I beat you again. I've got two flags. You go to Essendon, you're like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to finally beat my brother in something. He loses again. Poor Brad Scott. I love Brad Scott as a North fan, but old mate, no mates for him. It's a great one. So Thanksgiving in America is a yes. great one for the old we mate, no really mates when that. we do NBA yeah. Australia and NFL Australia mm. uh, because NFL Australia has the very obvious Thanksgiving bowl between the Harbors where you yes. have Jim and yeah. John. Yeah. So John has won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Jim has now won a college yeah. title after this year with Michigan. There you go. Up until now, like John was always like, ah, what's going on? Naked? Oh, I got you. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Give me your turkey. <laughs> yeah. And just like stealing all the big turkey leg. And I feel like Chris Scott can just keep doing that to yeah. Brad forever. Brad Scott's not going to have a flag. Yeah, yeah two flags, what, what, Brad, what, what, and then he can talk to yeah. you, yeah. mate. Yeah. He, it's like, Brad I'm in. batting first in backyard cricket. Oh, mom, <laughs> Chris said he's batting. He's got two flags, Brad. <laughs> no, I two coaching flags. You. They've got playing flags, but he's got more coaching yes, flags. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So he's like, he's got two flags, got to let him bat first. <laughs> oh, mom. <laughs> and away we go. Alex, old mate, no mates. Logan McDonald. Oh, poor, poor, poor Swans fan. So one of the key aspects of old mate, no mates as well is when you get on the team bus, I know that you guys, your guys were playing at home this week, but... You get on the team bus and everyone just goes, yeah, this guy. <laughs> ah, yeah. So how's Frio tasting already? Did yeah. that cash check? What do you reckon, Logan? Yeah. 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 So for a guy who I've lauded all year about, he has his routine. Yes. He goes back. You like his routine. He does his walk up, his little hip droppy thing, and he kicks the ball and he kicks it straight and he kicks it long. Logan McDonald overthought this whole thing, oh, the poor bastard. He was crapping himself. He was like... <laughs> He was checking with the umpire with the things that he could do with, enough, with yeah. the arc and everything, which fair enough, you don't want to, if you play it on you, you're even to old mate, no mates. Yep. But this is where also I feel like someone like a Dane Rampey or an Isaac Keeney should have run over and like, mate, just relax if you miss. Do you think? It's all good. Logan McDonald, I've watched him play every game of his AFL career. I've seen him kick, uh, it's probably near, near on 100 goals in the AFL. For the first time ever, Logan McDonald, Decided to go on a Lance Franklin-esque arc. Yeah, he did. To kick the football. Check this out. And then it went 50 metres wrong. And he kicked it towards the Bill O'Reilly stand, which is not the way you want it to go. You want it to go to the city end, not towards Coogee Beach. And it was 15 metres short. Yep. Boy, and the rest of it. So, Logan, if you'd just gone back and gone through your normal routine and kicked the drop punt and a fallen shot, I would be like... All right, he he tried. I'd be like, hey, that's cool. The extra aspect, though... Of him arcing for the first time ever. Of him doing it against Frio, the team that's trying to poach him. Oh, yeah. It would have been funny. Hey, isn't that the team that is trying to pay you a lot of money to go play for them next year? Did you just do that? (laughs) It would have been funnier if it was Chad Warner because Freya have come out and like, yeah, we're kind of not in for Logan anymore. Mm. If it was Chad Warner, it would have been much funnier. Nice. (laughs) If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on, do it now.